Garrosh sent a hundred riders to search the northern coast of Kunlai Summit to seek a Mogu crypt, matching the one that you saw in Shan Kian's memory. Out of those, one found the resting place of the Divine Bell. Blade Master Ishii is leading an advance party to secure the bell now. Go and assist him. Defend that artifact from anyone who might stand in your way. Speak to Tak Tak. Come what may, we fight. How's it, Jukin? You know they say your name all over camp. <laughs> Horde camp buzzing, everybody working. Since you saw Sean Kian's memory, they've been sending out scouting parties out, sending scouting parties out. And now it looks like they found where the Moku hit that bell. Alright, that's not one I need. I was gonna be a little like, oh, of course, one that I need. I really do want to try and make sure that I can actually get some of those ones done. By the way, I still haven't gone back up here to the Isle of Giants and killed Undasta. I need to do that just once. Just once for the credit for it. Good luck! I hope you find that bell! Yeah, I'm not really sure I want to. Because if I find it, that's all just only going to be a good thing for Garrosh. But, well, I kind of need to, to maintain my cover. Just like Volgen wanted me to. I anger. Actually, hold on a second. Let's go ahead and swap back to a different looking set here. I've been kind of like showing off some just various different like sets, you know? depending on how I feel about it. I really like this set, not just because I think it look, you know, I really like its appearance and like the extra green on it, but because I'm really happy about what I accomplished in order to get this. And I think it also goes well with the War Glaives of Azanoth, which I was, you know, I'm still happy that I got these. Let's see what Shaw Corruption looks on, uh, like on these. Whoa, ho, ho. Beware of Yeti! Oh, yeah. The war glaives of Asenoth corrupted by the Shaw. But I'm rather proud of this set because it represents that I was able to pull off the Mage Tower challenge, which I was pretty proud of myself that I was able to uh, pull that off. Blood and Thunder! At some point, I do plan on going back and actually doing those challenges on other classes that I want the sets for it on specific classes. The Alliance beat us here. How could this happen? Go with honor. If the Alliance thought that they could steal the Divine Bell from us, they were wrong. Even now, we have them trapped in the crypts beneath us. Death will be the price that they pay for defying us. Come, Demon Hunter. Let us show them the error of their ways. For the Horde. 
This smells like a trap, but we have no time to lose. Let's go. So, Horde Banner. Inspired by his banner, reducing damage taken and increasing damage done. May as well call him Samuro. I recognize this place. Horde. It's a shame you were so slow to get here. The Divine Bell is already ours. Rangers, strike! I can't help but be curious. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember how to do the traps thing here. But I'm so curious to see what this quest is gonna be like when we do this on the Alliance. Do we actually get here first, or do we get here and the Horde has gotten here first? You know? I gotta remember how to do this. Is it that the blue ones are fine? Yes, the blue ones are fine. Okay. Good to know. I lost all my buffs. Well, that makes me sad. Look, I have a whole bunch of these. I may as well use them. Right? I'm out of range. I need to get closer. Oh, hey, another horde player. I don't have a target. I can't attack that target. Oh, boy. Zoom. Hello, Savannah. My archer should have stopped you. Sentinels, now! I'm just running past all these things like what? Hello, Sarana. Oh, look at you trying to make an escape to uh, Darnassus. Very well. I will face you myself. This is for the Alliance! Uh-huh. Where'd the other player go? Oh, there he is. I'm trying to hold off on killing her, so this player gets credit. Hurry, priest, hurry! Before she dies, I'm trying not to kill her. I'm sorry. Oh, I wonder if he got into a different phase. Strength and honor. Darnassus, is it? The Alliance believes that they have won the day. Now, when their arrogance is at its greatest, is our opportunity to plug the pri pluck the prize from their fingers. Go forth to victory. So, yeah. Ugh, man. I'm not looking forward to what's coming up. <sighs> if it's what I think it is. For the Horde! You'll do perfectly. We know where the Alliance have hidden the Divine Bell. We've already inserted an agent into enemy territory. We just need you to help him execute his mission. Pack up. You're headed to Darnassus. Fear nothing. The Horde shall prevail. All right. Well, we're going to Teldrassil. Wow, does this feel weird knowing what happens later. Ah. Uh. 
Ah, Medanix, I'm so glad that Nazgrim selected you. It's taken a great deal of the Horde's efforts to get you here through Jaina's traps. Maintaining our illusion this close to Darnassus is considerably expensive. Furthermore, the Sunreavers of Dalaran are risking their neutrality by assisting the Horde with this operation. In other words, we expect only the best from you. The Divine Bell is in the city. We don't want to cause a scene, we just want the artifact. I need you to find a way in, without getting caught. That means no mounts, no flying, no fighting. I can provide aid. I will magically cloak you, so you may move with stealth. I will also give you a small charm that you may use to return to safety should you get in trouble. Now go. Go locate the bell and tag it to be teleported back with you. Yeah. All right, are you ready to go in? Stay away from the guards. This spell should shield you from the Night Elf's vision, but you will still need to keep your distance. If you get into trouble, return to safety here. Yeah. Teleports to the edge of Darnassus. So we have an extra buff, uh, well, time traveling. You've traveled back through time to Darkshore before the shores erupted into battle. But we should have another one. Anyways. Oh, okay. So it brings you back there. And it has a six second cooldown. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I guess I'm just also trying to see like what the buff is in terms of stealth. All right, well, there's a sentinel right there, so there are sentinels right there, too. Yeah! Uh, hmm. And I would certainly hope that these wisps are not going to cause a problem. You know? <laughs> wow. We are having to sneak deep into the heart of uh, Darnassus here. This is uh, very, very dangerous. And, of course, we get flagged for PvP because this is Alliance territory. So even if, if I don't want to be flagged for PvP, guess what? No choice in the matter. You know what this reminds me of? I never, never showed this on camera. This is like when I was on my Rogue on the Horde trying to get my Class Hall mount. And we had to come right here to this area to take out a target. Now that was on, if you're playing as a horde rogue. If you're an alliance rogue, it was in one of the horde cities. But the idea was still the same, that you were having to sneak into the city, being flagged for PvP, which by the way, I should also point out that of course, other players can attack you, but also, if you were not max level, the guards would immediately detect you and just immediately one-shot you. Because you were under level, and because and that means that their detection radius on you was much higher. So it was much easier for them to spot you, and therefore kill you. Yeah, it was not fun. And I am really hoping... Oh gosh, oh gosh. I am so, like, paranoid right now to get too close, to risk getting too close to these guys. Because, yikes, you know? Okay, so, over there. I don't want to, because I, I remember that experience. Getting a tad bit too close, and then they're like, Hey! Because I, I especially don't want to have to make a long run back here. And I feel like my mobility as a demon hunter can really help out here. Oh, let me guess. It's in here? The Child of Anara. Oh, gosh. A 
trainer. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. There's the bell. Oh, that's a sentinel. Oh, boy. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Well executed, Blood Elf. I knew we could count on you. The portal by my side will return you to safety, to, to safely to Domination Point. I'll return behind you. I must clean up our tracks a bit before we leave, so that Proudmoor does not discover our involvement. Yeah, about that. Yeah. The tip of the Horde Spear. No you found the bell, on. and finally are teleported to Silvermoon for study. As instructed, the Horde will put this to good use. You have done the Horde a great service today. Look tall, friend. May our foes flee before you. The Night Elves learned the Divine Bell was stolen. This much we anticipated. However, they have also found out that the neutral Sun Reavers of Dalaran were complicit. Now we've got a situation. I need you to go to Dalaran. Speak with Kromthar for a ride. You are to rendezvous with Grand Magister Ramath once you arrive. Fear nothing. The Horde shall prevail. Oh gosh, this moment. The Purge of Dalaran. Like I have said, I absolutely intend to show you guys this on both sides. Strength and honor! If you want to see the Alliance side of this, head on over to my Alliance playthrough. Hey, Ramoth. What is it? Oh, good, you've arrived. It's not a good day to be Horde in Dalaran. Jaina has called for the exile of all the Sunreavers. You and I are going to save as many as we can, including Archmage Aether Sunreaver himself, and then get out of here as fast as possible. Do not let out. Compared to the rest of the city, this part of the sewers is relatively calm. This is good. We can extract more Sunreavers in peace, than we can in war. Find as many citizens as you can. Tell them that it is not safe here, that they must leave the city at once, and try to stay clear of the Silver Covenant. We don't want to cause a scene if we can avoid it. Not yet, anyhow. For Quell's a lot. Jane has gone over the edge. She's imprisoning the Sun Reavers and attacking those who resist. What's worse, the Silver Covenant has seized the opportunity to join the bloodshed. A new Bellore Dalaran. It's not safe anymore. You need to evacuate Dalaran. Hold your head high. The dark times will pass. Salama Ashalinore. State your business. We will have justice. Where will I go? Somewhere where Jaina is not trying to kill you. The dark times will pass. What's all this nonsense about a purge? Remember the sun well. Ah, oh, she must have heard about the movies. <clears throat> Glory to the Sindori. They're trying to shake us down. The reckoning is at hand. Baladash Malanore, Salama Ashalanore. 
We will have justice. Oh. Never mind. I guess I didn't have to kill them. What would you ask? Let's press on. We build our future. As I suspected, it gets worse up ahead. The Silver Covenant is outright attacking innocent Sunreavers. This cannot stand. While our prime directive is to rescue Aethys Sunreaver, we must also protect as many Blood Elves as we can. I will continue to scout ahead. Fight well. Be about your work. It's chaos up there. We need to save whoever we can, and we'll need to move quickly. Notice what music is playing during this. So now basically these Silver Covenant guys are not really giving us much of a choice. It's too far away. I need to get closer. I am rather busy. So much bloodshed in a place of peace. Jaina has gone too far this time. Respect our customs. That's amusing. Every Sunreaver Jaina expels from the city is a new blade that fights for the Horde. For us! I'm off to gather more strong elves. You've proven your hand in combat thus far. Go take care of that creep in the black market. When you're done, we'll meet at the romp and prepare to go above ground. Do not let outsiders interfere. Soren, what are you doing? Oh, that's great. I need to target something first. He dropped that Sun Reaver down into the into the water where the sewer shark was. That's that's great. That's wonderful. Thanks for doing that. Now this is where things are probably going to get a little dangerous, because now we're going up, where a lot of the really bad, dangerous stuff that's, is, is happening. In fact, you can even see Jaina yelling, Did you think your actions would have no consequences? Yeah, Jaina is, uh, again, we will see more of this when we do the Alliance side. I serve Silvermoon. The first stage of our mission is complete. That was the easy part. Oh boy. It would be unwise to oppose us. Hey. Do not squander We are resources. going to survive up above ground. We're going to need a base of operations. I'm going to try and take the center of the city. It's, a ris it's risky, but hopefully Jaina and the Silver Covenant won't expect it. Stay by my side now. Be about your work. Wait for my command. Go, 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 go! To the center of the city! This way! In case you're wondering, There she is. And she has 231 million health. So basically, no, if you try and take on Jaina, you will not win. She has a stupid amount of health. And she will probably one shot you. Which is kind of part of the point because. This is great story. Again, more great story and gameplay integration. The point here is that Jaina is not holding back. She is so, like, past the point of just even talking or negotiating. She has two water elementals escorting her as she was walking around attacking Sun Reavers on sight. 
she is not in any good state right now, and she is past the point of talking or anything. She, you'll know she's casting Fireball, which I'm pretty sure she's also casting Blizzard. Yeah, she is absurdly powerful right now because she has no reason to hold back. Imagine, this may not be a great comparison, forgive me, but I want you guys to take a moment to imagine Superman being broken to the point where now he's not going to hold back. Because we know he always holds back. Always. Because of how powerful he is, he knows if he doesn't hold back, he could basically one-shot everything. Now imagine he doesn't hold back anymore. That he's been broken so much or pushed to the point where he just has no interest in holding back anymore. That's basically where Jaina is at right now. The Eternal Sun still guides us. Now let's move quickly. For Quell Thalas. We have over... I have it on good authority that Archmage Aether Sunreaver is being held in the Silver Enclave, home of the Silver Covenant. Arcanist Rotha Rothella holds him in captivity. By the way, he keeps casting molten armor on himself, which I just find amusing. Most Covenant agents are out slaughtering Sun Reavers right now, which means our chance is ripe. Slay Rothella and spring Aethus from his prison. We build our future upon the back. We can rescue as many Sun Reavers as we want, but if they can't escape, then there's no point. The Silver Covenant will certainly be up subduing and killing the Sun Reavers' dra dragon hawks. Put a stop to it. Do not let outsiders interfere. Any pretense that the Kirin Tor might have had at being a neutral group can officially be discarded. I'm now hearing that Jaina's got Alliance troops stowed away near Antonidas Memorial. The area is free of Sun Reavers, but it still makes my blood boil to see such blatant favoritism from the Kirin Tor. Go visit the memorial and give those Alliance dogs a good kick and kick on your way through. For Quell Thalas. Notice that Ramoth is flagged for PvP right now. Also, it's worth noting that we're having to do this while trying to avoid Jaina. Because if I go out there and all of a sudden Jaina's right there like, Hi! Then she will just straight up kill me. So I now have to go out and do this without Jaina discovering me. And without aggroing her. Because fortunately she just walked by. I'm out of range. But now I'm going to have to make sure I do this without her seeing me or aggroing to me. Because if she does, I am dead. There's just no way around it. And then, yeah, this is unfortunately, like like he said, right now the Kirin Tor are, are not really able to be in the neutral position because Jaina has kind of been running things. It's too this will, away. however, change when, once we get to Legion, because, for one thing, Khadgar is going to take more of a uh, leadership role first. amongst the Kirin Tor, and Jaina is going to leave. And the reason for that, for those of you who need a little reminder... Uh, hold on. I'm going to head this way instead, because Jaina is going to be heading that direction. When Legion comes around, Khadgar says, okay, we now, again, you'll see Display Sunreaver, and Jaina just straight up kills him. I'm having to do this hopefully, hoping that she does not turn around and see me. Now, this is a dangerous area. We now have to go into the Silver Enclave, which normally would flag me for PB, or they would kill, kill me, or kick me out. Aethus isn't here. They must have moved him. We can continue without him. Alright, now here's where the tricky part comes. Because I now have to wait for Jaina... ...to move. The Sunwell must be protected. Be about your work. Continue saving Sun Reavers for a while longer. Aethus' location may become clear as we press on. We build our future upon the... Thank you for that. It unsettles me to have to fight directly with the High Elves of the Silver Covenant, but I never tire of slaying Alliance. Ramoth! Unwise to I get enough of that with Garrosh and his horde. I don't need that from you too. 
I know the Alliance were incredibly racist to you guys and basically tried to genocide all of you. But come on, man. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and head on over here because Jaina is now over there, okay. I don't have to really worry about anything else in this area, Alliance or Silver Covenant wise. The only thing I have to be concerned about is Jaina. She is literally the only only thing I have to actually be concerned about. No matter how overpowered we may be in this event, I'm not taking on a 231 million health Jaina. Alright. Now to try to make it back before she comes back around. Again, notice how Sun Reavers are just running around panicking in place because Jaina is just going around killing them on sight. Also notice there's a Silver Covenant person here guarding the Horde portion of Dalaran. What is it? Well done, well done. We have overcome... There's still a number of significant Sun Reavers who haven't been accounted for. Odds are... That they are that they're in the Sun Reaper Sanctuary caught by surprise. The place is crawling with Silver Covenant. You will need to get in, use the tier to evacuate the VIPs, and then get out. Stay alive. Respect our customs. Oh gosh, where's Jaina? Alright. Get out of here. She's probably like right over there. I'm out of range. I need a target. Like, I really just want to, like, emphasize that the fact that there are a ton of, uh, also, hey, Magistrix. Everything has a price. Get out of here. Is taking my home by force? I'll remember this. That there are Silver Covenant members here in the Sun Reaver Sanctuary. This is an example of just how much they are trying to take this place over and just completely overrun it and no longer care about things like, you know, boundaries and such. Uda, get out of here. Look, Tom. Come on, girls. You've had your share of meat for the day. There's even Silver Covenant assassins in here. I think there's another right over here. Yep. Yep, Magister Hathoral. Yes, we will persevere. Thank you. I'll see you in Silver Moon. Ahead. I hope the Horde has a place for another mage. Oh, trust me, we have places for plenty of mages. Baby. Some more? Let's get you out of here. So long, Dalaran. It's too far away. don't have a target. Oh gosh, Jaina's right there. I serve Silvermoon. Excellent. They should be waiting for us in Silvermoon when we return. We have overcome much. We've looked everywhere. He's likely to... Everywhere he's likely to be. Except for one place. The Violet Citadel. Find out if Archmage Aethys is being held within the Citadel. We may get lucky. If not, well, at least we saved a number of lives today. Be about your work. Wait. Oh. Derp. I completely misunderstood. Oh, this is bad. 
She's walking right by it right now. When he said Violet, for some reason my mind went to the Violet Hold, which... I don't know, the idea that Jaina would imprison him in the Violet Hold, to me, just kind of makes sense, you know? Oh, gosh, she's right there. Because she's just... These Sun Reavers are fighting for their lives. That's why they're casting on Jaina. And yet, Jaina... Notice she's not taking any damage. You chose your war chief over the Kirin Tor. Yeah, this this event really, really pushed Jaina. It really broke her. I mean, how far do you have to get broken to actually walk in the streets and kill civilians on sight? Again, the Sun Reavers here, these civilians, are not actually part of the Horde. And not the forces of the Horde that did what, what uh, you know, what she considers to be the horrible thing that's, that was done. But right now, all she sees is a Blood Elf. And that just means Horde to her. If you are not an Alliance race, you're part of the Horde. That's, that's what she is thinking right now. That's how she's feeling. I need to get closer. I need a target. Aethys. Aethys, this way. Into the portal. Stay by me. We're going out the tunnel. Stay by my side. This event would affect Jaina, or Jaina would be affected by this event and such, basically until BFA. Like, she would be sent on this course up until the moment when Bane saved her brother from Sylvanas. And that's when Jaina was finally able to kind of be broken out of this mindset she's been put into. But she would get a harsh reminder about what she did here this day. Because when we go into Orgrimmar to save Bane with Jaina, that's when some of the Blood Elves working for Sylvanas confront her, not necessarily because they're loyal to Sylvanas, but because they wanted revenge for what happened in Dalaran. The Eternal Sons. And it was afterwards that Jaina regarded what she did by saying, We all have blood on our hands, referring to the ones on her own hands. Because let's make no mistake, Jaina knows she has blood on her hands from this day. What's going on here? We are a nation on the. Aethus. You're alive. Thanks to this hero, a few of us made it out of there. <clears throat> Many more have been sent to the Violet Hold. Anara Lashdanal, will someone tell me what is going on in Dalaran? Proudmoor. She's gone and expelled the Sun Reavers from the city. She's purging the Horde from the Kirin Tor. She's gone too far. I'm certain the Alliance can move their war mages through the city at will. Which? When will they learn? When will they see that the Horde exists because of the Alliance? Because of their prejudice and their bigotry? They force us ever closer to Hellscream's Horde. My lord. Alduran, summon the Rangers. Romath, assemble the Blood Magi and add the Sun Reaver's strength to your own. We Sindori will take our future into our own hands. 
And get this damn thing out of my sight! Hellscream bought his treasure with the blood of my people. I hope it destroys him. My lord, you would make a fine war chief. It may come to that. Bring me my blades. The next move is mine. And that is one of my all-time favorite scenes ever involving Lorthamar. That speech, that rant he had just now, was great. That was so great. Let me just say again what he said. When will they learn? When will they see that the Horde exists because of the Alliance? Because of their prejudice and their bigotry? They force us ever closer to Hellscream's Horde! It's such a eloquent, great way to say that. How true it is? Eh, I mean, we could debate that, discuss it, but... The thing is, he's not wrong. Going back to, like, Warcraft 1? Or heck, maybe even Warcraft 3 because of the Blood Elves' personal experience with this? Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, this really pushed Lorthamar really hard. And I agree with Ramoth. If Lor if Lorthamar ever became... Now, that's no longer the case with the Horde because they don't have a war chief. They have a council ruling them. But I would have much rather preferred seeing Lorthamar as war chief than, than Sylvanas or Garrosh. Volgen was not a bad choice, but... Honestly... If they had chosen Lorthamar to be the new war chief instead of Volgen at the end of Pandaria, I wouldn't have disagreed with it. I would have been like, yeah, no, Lorthamar, all the way, you know? But that's just me. I love that scene. The whole the whole sequence involving the purge is just kind of Ugh, when you know doing with doing it because of what's going on and the slaughter that's happening in the streets which is just uncomfortable to see and witness but that scene at the end with Lorthamar is just so great I love that scene so much for the horde all right, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it off here, and we will continue this when we come back. Stay tuned.